was flinging budget frisbees. Welcome back to Monkey Boys Toys, and welcome back to the sofa. Thanks very much for joining me again. Here's a green monkey to look at. Now this week I've got some Masters of the Universe items to have a look at, so I think it would only be fair if I gave Skeletor a shout so he can come and have a look as well. Um, so let's just remove the monkey from the shot, uh, and we'll give Skeletor a shout. Skeletor! Skeletor! What? Come here, I think there's something you might want to have a look at. No, I'm busy. No, no, you're not. You're a plastic toy. Now come down here. Oh, monkey boy. Oh, right, I'm coming. Here I am. Here I am. Right, what is it? Uh, right, well, I've got some things I think you might want to have a look at today. Uh, well, hurry up and show them to me. And ask your viewers to subscribe to my channel while they're here. Uh, right, Skeletor, I'll put a link to your channel in the description. You do this all the time. Stop pestering. Uh, right, show me the stuff. Right, well, I'll, um, I'll just sit you to the back of the sofa if that's all right. Uh, well, I can't stand on my own. Well, I've put some clothes pegs on your feet just now. There we go. You all right? You, no, I'm falling over. Is that okay? No, no, I'm still falling over, monkey boy. Um... How about, how about that? No, there we go. Is that all right? Probably not, monkey boy. Right, okay. Um, anyway, Skeletor, today um, I've got some Masters of the Universe books to have a look at. Yeah, am I in them? Y yes, you're in them, Skeletor. Yeah, excellent. Show me them immediately. Right, well, here they are. Um, I've got eight uh, Masters of the Universe Ladybird storybooks here uh, and one adventure game book. Um, now, these um, books were produced I believe in 1984 by uh, Ladybird Books, as I've just mentioned, uh, and there were eight books in the in the series, and I have all eight books, um, and there was also an adventure game book um, that was released as well. So I thought we'd go through these just one by one uh, and just have a, a quick look at them. Does that sound all right, Skeletor? Yes. Well, I can only see the back of them, Monkey Boy. Yeah. Okay. Well, when I show people the back, you will then be able to see the front. Does that make sense? Yes, of course, Monkey Boy. I know how physics works. Right, okay guys, so anyway, here are here are the books. Um, I'll just take them off to the side and we'll have a look at them one by one. I don't know what order they were officially in, um, but uh, anyway, so let's just have a look at them. This was the first one I actually got as a, as a child, so this is the first one I'm going to show you. Um, this one is Castle Greyskull Under Attack. Ah, excellent! Um, I can see the back, monkey boy. There's Castle Greyskull on it. Yeah, okay. So, this is Castle Greyskull Under Attack, um, and as you would imagine, the story features uh, Castle Greyskull under attack. Um, yeah, monkey boy, Captain Obvious. Right. Anyway, so yeah, so there's there's that one. Uh, I'm not going to go through all these um, sort of extensively, um, but I will show you um, just a quick flick through the book. Um, all all of these books were, were written by John Grant and uh, were illustrated by Robin Davies, as we can see here. Um, with the exception of the uh, adventure game book, which was written and illustrated by different um, people. Um, but yeah, so here we go. There's there's um, Skeletor. Uh, some nice artwork there. Now, do I win in this one, Monkey Boy? Um, no, you don't, Skeletor. You don't. You don't win. Um, but anyway, there's Castle Greyskull under attack. As I say, this was the first one I, I got as a child, um, and this really got me into the storybooks. Um, so let's pop that one at the back there. Um, is that all right, Skeletor? Yeah, uh, don't knock the camera, Monkey Boy. Well, I did, didn't I? Yes. Anyway, the second one we've got here is a trap for He-Man. Ah, even better. Do I win in this one? Um, no, Skeletor, you don't win in this one. Oh. Um, there are some, some good images, again, in this one. The artwork in these books is fantastic. It's really worth um, sort of examining these um, in, in a bit more detail, but um, I won't have the time to do that today. But... Nevertheless, here we go. Here's um, here's a trap for He-Man. Um, it has been pointed out to me recently that I that I flick through these books in the wrong way. I do it um, I do it from the back to the front. Um, I think it's possibly because I'm left-handed. Um, I'm not very good at flicking through this way. For some reason, I, I can't do it very well. Um, so I'll be flicking through these backwards. Um, anyway, there's Beast Man. Uh, there's a cool image of Beast Man there. Um, I believe there was another. Yep, there's another good one. Another good image of Beast Man there, uh, upside down. But anyway, here's um, a trap for He-Man. So that's the next one we've got. Okay. My sofa isn't particularly level, so they're not going to they're not going to line up very well. But never mind. The next one we've got here is He-Man meets the Beast. Um, and as we can see here on the back, we've got a sleeping behemoth. Ah, behemoth. Am I in this one, Monkey Boy? Well, let's have a look. Let's have a look, Skeletor. Let's see if you're in here. Um, I can't remember. Oh. I, that picture always used to freak me out when I was a when I was a kid because I thought he looked particularly sinister. It was just something about that sort of Cheshire cat grin that the behemoth had. Um, 
and again he's it's quite a quite quite some, quite scary uh, images in here actually to be honest um i don't think you're in this one skeletor there's there's lots of pictures of um the behemoth let's just see if we can it, look mm. behemoth it's not going to focus behemoth's cavern oh yeah oh yeah. there you are skeletor you're down there oh, i am in this one do i win in this one then no you don't win in this one skeletor no you don't win in any of these uh, oh right um oh yeah there you are again well, I can't see, Monkey Boy. You're showing everyone else, but I can't see. I know. Anyway, there we go. There's He-Man meets the Beast. The next one we've got is the Iron Master. Ah, oh, look at the picture on the back, Monkey Boy. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, yes, there's me with my Iron Giant. Um, y yeah. So this is the Iron Master. Um, again, this um, this story does feature uh, Skeletor, as we can see, um, and uh, Skeletor in this story. Um, gets his his minions to build uh, a giant iron master. Funnily enough, um, to try and um, to try and get the power sword from He-Man. So yeah, there we go. There's Skeletor having um, created, or his skill cons rather have have created um, the iron giant. These are the skill cons. These guys here. I don't remember there being a figure of a skill con. Um, to be honest, but anyway, there's some some cool images again. Like I said, the, the artwork in these books is absolutely fantastic. They, they've really taken some time um, to do some some good artwork. I mean, the Ladybird books were always very good, but um, and, I, and I've got several um, several Ladybird books. I have the Transformers ones as well, um, and they're all they're all very good. But they've got the Iron Master. Um, let's just try and speed things up a little bit if I can. Otherwise, you're all going to get bored. Um, the next one is Skeletor's Ice Attack. Oh, I must win in that one, surely. No, I've told you, Skeletor, you don't win in any of these. Oh, monkey boy. Um, there's a picture of Skeletor looking rather petrified. Um, um, and there's a killer whale there. So there we go. It's a bit of a... Uh, a bit of a wet story, this. It's full of ice and water. Uh, but there we go. There's some... Um, there's Skeletor's Ice Attack. Nice image there of the Talon Fighter. He-Man flying that. Um, there were some, there were some strange uh, choices in terms of the, the posing of some of these characters. Like, you know, he looks a bit peculiar there, but um, but still great artwork. There's Merman emerging from the from the depths. Um, so yeah, there we go. Oh, that's quite a cool image of um, uh, one of the Sea People, um, which is one of Merman's minions. Um, so there we go. There's. Skeletor's Ice Attack. Uh, next up, we've got Wings of Doom. Um, and I think um, this creature is a wyvern. Um, let's have a look. Is it a wyvern? Um, I don't know. Um, it looks like a wyvern, doesn't it? Let's call it a wyvern. It's a wyvern. Now, uh, there we go. There's the Skelcons uh, and Skeletor holding Stratos hostage. Um, so yeah, there we go. That's He-Man. Uh, sorry, that's uh, Wings of Doom. Um, picture there on the back of the Wyvern. Um, if you are thinking of, of getting these books, they can be found for a reasonable price, um, and they are worth getting. They're, they're very very nice to add to a collection. Um, if you're into your Masters of the Universe, these are these are very um, a very good a good idea to pick these up. Um, here we have uh, He-Man and the Lost Dragon. Um, I've got a bit, a bit of a sticky label stuck on the front of this one, um, and I don't really want to remove it with lighter fluid um, in case I damage the book. Um, so, and it's been on there for so long, it's it, it doesn't scrape off particularly well. Um, oh, here we go. Look, I've got a bit. I've got a bit off. Um, I did. I did try and get it off, but it's not. Anyway, I'll do. I'll do that later. You don't want to see me removing a sticky label. Uh, there we go. So He-Man and the Lost Dragon. Um, this image on the back is a, a bit of a, a more unusual one. There's there's no characters on the back here as such. It's just showing the um, destruction there of a mountain. Let's have a quick flick through. Um, all these books had the same um, uh, cover, inner covers, um, with some, some great images there. Obviously, we've got Castle Greyskull and Snake Mountain uh, looking very cool. Um, but let's just have a quick flick through through this book and see what we can see. 
uh, a dragon, presumably lost. There's um, Grizzlaw, I believe. Is that Grizzlaw? It looks like Grizzlaw. Um, so, so yeah. There's Skeletor again. Ah! What am I doing? Um, well, it looks like you're emerging from some mushrooms. Um, ah, d do I win in this one? Uh, no, you don't. And also, um, th there's someone in this that you that you're not a big fan of. Uh, who is it, Monkey Boy? Right. Well, I, I don't think I'm going to tell you, Skeletor, because you won't be pleased if I mention his name. Oh, it's bloody Hordak, isn't it? It is Hordak. Yeah. God, he's a twat. Yes, I know you think that, Skeletor. Anyway, so there we go. There's. Oh, that's a pretty cool, pretty cool image. Um, he-Man uh, rescuing somebody. Um, it's been years since I've read these books, so I don't remember much about them, to be honest. Um, but anyway, there's He-Man and the Lost Dragon. Uh, and the, the last one in the series, uh, well, I don't know if it was the last one or not, but the last one that I've got to show you here um, is He-Man and the Asteroid of Doom. Uh, and um, that's a very big image. Look at that, Skeletor. Look. Oh, my God. Get rid of it. Right. Yeah, you don't like him, do you? No. He's a bell end. Well, anyway. I quite like him. So there we go. There's, there's a look at a look at that. Um, now, if you, that's is that actually Man at Arms? Because I don't see a moustache. I know I know it's kind of covered up a bit, but there, there isn't even the, the suggestion of a moustache there, is there? I um, mean, and, and he looks quite odd. But yes, it is indeed Man at Arms, uh, as you can see there. Um, he man striking a pose. Um, we've got a good shot of Skeletor's fingernail. Do I win in this story? No, you don't win in any of these stories. Um, that's a pretty cool image there of the guys. Um, so yeah, there's He-Man and the Asteroid of Doom with Hordak on the back in all his glory. Um, now, uh, Ladybird uh, also produced this adventure game book called He-Man and the Memory Stone. Um, and it's one of those um, stories where you, you have a dice and you you roll the roll the dice to to see what what the outcome of the story is uh, and you have life points and, and these sorts of things um, but you sort of you turn to whatever whatever page is is relevant I mean it's it is what it is you know it's one of those one of those type things um, the artwork in here isn't quite as as good because obviously a lot of the the space is taken up with the um, the panels um, of text, so the the uh, artwork in here isn't isn't quite as good. Um, but nevertheless, there's um there's a look at, at that one, He-Man, and the Memory Stone. So there we go. What did you think of those, Skeletor? Um, well, I'm disappointed that I didn't win in any of them. Well, no, no, but that's just the way things work out sometimes, Skeletor. Yeah. So there we go. Thanks everyone for watching the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed um, this look at the Ladybird. Masters of the Universe mini storybooks. If you did like the video, uh, please do give it a thumbs up and share it with any other budget frisbees you may know. Um, do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And subscribe to my channel! And yes, and, um, and please do subscribe to Skeletor's channel um, if, you haven't, if you haven't done that yet. And yes, do leave me a comment uh, and let me know if you had any of these books yourself uh, as a young person but I think that's about it Skeletor so uh, I think we should make like shepherds and get the flock out of here yes okay see you later guys bye, bye.